Okay, Tom Frank here with Miranda Frank for Evil Giant Robots for Miranda. This is May 11th, I believe. Um, April's in the books, and uh, we got a lot of sketches in April, didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so we went to the uh, LA Times Festival of Books, uh, and on the first day, you and I went together, and we got a good sketch from John Rocco. Yeah. yeah. And why, why do you like him? Um, you know, he's, he's a nice guy. He, like, he, um, people who don't know who he is, he illustrates the covers for the Percy Jackson books. Yeah. And I bought a book f that was by him called Wolf, Wolf. It's based on, uh, Aesop's Fable. Yeah. And, um... I, I got it for you. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, so, yeah, he, he drew a nice sketch of a robot. Mm -hmm. I think it was like on the moon, and it was like, yeah. and I was like peeking above the moon. Yeah, it was good. We're, we're uh, inserting it into the video so people will actually be able to see it. Um, and then the next day, I got uh, Kadir Nelson, I got Tommy DePaula. Um, so, you know, we got five sketches at the LA Festival of Books, LA Times Festival of Books. And then the next weekend, uh, you and I went on day one to WonderCon. And that was kind of a big deal. That was good. We, it, we got a lot of good sketches there. And you did a, a sketch trade with someone, right? You drew a picture of Superman fighting a dragon. And we gave it to... Jim Lee! And he did a drawing for you, didn't he? Isn't that unbelievable? Yeah, we got Jim Lee. And uh, he doesn't normally do sketches at conventions. Um, one thing is I handed it to him upside down. So on the drawing, he did it upside down. <laughs> Um, and what did he say to you? He liked your drawing, didn't he? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't really remember it. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, so overwhelming. Um, but we wanted him for a long time, and we finally got him, so it's great that it's in the sketchbook, even though it was a quick sketch. Uh, and then we I also got... It, it was supposed to be a quick sketch, because it was from the quickest artist ever, Sergio Aragones. Yeah, we got one from him. He was nice. And what did he say to you? Because he liked talking to you about art. I remember this one. He said, oh, so do you like drawing? And I'm like, yeah. And he said, it's fun, isn't it? <laughs> and uh, he did a great sort of one-panel strip. And there's like a guy, like the robot is really evil. It looks sort of Frankenstein-ish. And yeah, it lost the, a bolt. The, 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 the like hairstyle and the bolt yeah. fell down. And there's like this cartoony really cool. guy. He's like, here, take your bolt back. Yeah, that's really cool and really funny. Um, and we got some other great sketches at Wonder Festival. Um, there's a guy who did a crowd, Luke Sahi Bune. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. He did one for free, and he did this giant robot with like a scar uh, over one eye exposing it. And there's like a man and a little girl like walking up to it, which I think is supposed to represent me and you. Yeah. Um, it was a really good drawing. Okay. And there was, oh, wasn't there someone that, uh, um, that like his son did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ron Lim did one. Uh, he did one in sketchbook number three, and then his son, uh, Brandon, I think his name was, he did one on his own piece of paper, so we'll have to figure out how to insert that into the sketchbook. Mystery at WonderCon, uh, there was one, you know, getting a whole bunch of different pages. It looks like someone started and stopped their ideas twice. There's two, like, half-started sketches in the sketchbook, and I don't know who did them. You know, I went up to, I noticed it on the second day, I went up to every artist from the first day, no one copped to it, so we've got ghost sketches in the sketchbook now. We don't know who did them. I think, I think I know who it was, I think he wasn't admitting it. Um, but, so I'm not sure what to do with those pages, maybe have someone else finish off those drawings, come up with their own interpretation of them, one's like crossing his arms, and the other's like this head sketch where it's roaring. Um, but that was a lot of fun, you know, we got, I don't know, 13, 15 sketches. At that's, WonderCon that's not bad. Over two days. Um, and then the following weekend, I went to C2E2 in Chicago. You stayed here. Uh, I went to Chicago on my own, and I got, like, Friday I went there. There was a whole bunch of great things. I wanted Ramon Perez for a long time. He uh, is an Eisner winner uh, for Tale of Sand. You know, he's one of those, you know, there was 15 left, and he was one of them. Um, uh, best penciler, inker, Eisner winners, and we got one from him. Really nice guy, and he did an amazing robot. Uh, love his, and then we got that same day Jason Howard, uh, uh, Eric Powell, who does the goon, 
and he did this heavy metal robot, which might be one of the best rendered ones in there. But, it looks really but metallic. the best one ever is the one after the heavy metal robot. Yeah. It's um, by, uh, what was his name? It was like Martin... Michael Dooney. Michael Dooney, that yeah. was his name. I've been after him he, for a long time. He like does this one where it's on the moon or it's something? It's on like a big crater. Yeah, yeah like it's an on asteroid like this or big something. thing and it has like all these spikes. And what's, you said it was really good because um, it, like it's so detailed and it has a great background and also you can um, not see the leg. It's in, in perspective. Back it's to like show how it's like big really it tiny. is. Yeah. yeah. It's really beautiful. Like you never know what you're going to get with the, you know this project. Like who's going to be inspired, who isn't? Michael Dooney absolutely knocked it out of the park. Absolutely one of the best pages in the whole project in all three sketchbooks. Really? That's your favorite? It's one of them, you know. It's definitely, you know, certainly at a convention where someone like, you don't know, mail it to them and they have all as much time as they want. Um, so yeah, his was great. And I kept getting fewer and fewer sketches. Like day Saturday, I didn't get as many, and Sunday, I didn't. Get, I only got a couple. Uh, so oh. we'll see. And then last weekend we went to Free Comic Book Day uh, at the Comic mm -hmm. Bug, and we got uh, Rafael Navarro, uh, who did a very good one, and um, that was not bad. Michael yeah, O'Hare did the one coming out of the water, which we liked yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah, he does Elephant Men. He and works. He, he, uh, Richard Starkins does Elephant Men. Oh, he huh. might do some work with him because oh. uh, Richard Starkins was next to him. Yeah. And there's a lot of different artists who work on that. I, I know he does some He-Man stuff. Um, I'm not sure if you He-Man and She-Ra? Yeah. Like <laughs> so, uh, what are we going to do today? We're, we're going to take sketchbook number two. This is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, this artist is a big deal. Yeah. Okay. So, pretty much today, we're going to a museum in, uh... Glendale. Glendale. And... The, there's an exhibit the, There's there. an exhibit there, and guess who's going to be there? Drew, Drew Strusan. Strusan. Yeah, the... Best movie poster artist or most renowned movie poster artist. He, he did uh, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Back to the Future, yeah. The Thing, you know. And they're showing a documentary on him, and then he's there doing a signing. So cross our fingers. Cross our fingers. You you've got a drawing. Is it still here? No, I put it away. Uh, well, I'll, I'll put it up there because I scanned it in. You did a drawing from The Empire Strikes Back of the, the giant slug. space the space slug. Eating, trying to get the Millennium Falcon. So maybe we can do a trade. Work with Jim Lee, right? Let, let's see what will happen with Drew Strusan. Yeah, you know, say, hey, will you do an evil giant robot in the sketchbook? He might not, but life is short, right? And you got to take risks, and you got to go for it. So we're we're not uh, sitting back and letting the world pass us by. We're trying to get evil giant robot sketches. And we will threaten them. <laughs> no, we won't. We we will threaten them because. We we are the evil giant robot sketching people, and we will not stop. We're, we're going to put the evil in the evil giant robot sketching yes. people. Yes. Okay. So we're going to threaten Drew Strusan, is what you're saying. Yeah. We're going to okay. pull out a gun and say, <laughs> stick him up. <laughs> Draw an evil giant robot or else. Yeah. Okay. Surrender or die. Um, so then next weekend I'm going to Big Wow. Uh, Comic Fest in San Jose. There's a whole bunch of great artists there. One, th there's like um, a lot of artists who aren't really comic book people. They're sort of concept artists uh, for Lucasfilm. You know, they, they, a lot of people who worked on the Clone Wars cartoon are going to be there. And uh, you know, I've looked at all of their portfolios, and they not only draw great robot stuff, but they're not like big in-demand commission people. You know, like Adam Hughes or J. Scott Campbell or someone like that. So I can probably get them pretty cheap, um, even though you're not there batting your eyes saying, oh, please draw an evil giant robot for me, like you're going to do today with Drew Struzan. Um, and then there's another thing coming up. It's the American Library Association Conference in Las Vegas. Um, and there's going to be, they, they do like a Caldecott Newberry Award banquet. So this year's Caldecott winner should be there. Brian, I'm not sure if it's Flocka or Floca. Flocka. Flocka. Uh, for Locomotive, a uh, great artist. Uh, and the nominees should be there as well, which are Molly Idol, Aaron Becker, um, and David Wiesner. So maybe we can try and get David Wiesner again. He, he, he said no like twice and it didn't happen. We'll see, but you weren't there. You know, 
And you can say stick them up to David Wiesner. I, I, I'm the, the good luck charm. Yeah, you are the good luck charm. Dude, uh, that... You're my perfect good luck charm. Yeah. Um, and, but uh, maybe Kevin uh, Hankus is going to be there as well, who won the, was nominated for the Newberry this year, but has won a Caldecott previously. Cool, so, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> well, we'll find out. I'll show your stuff, and you can pretend to have been a lifelong fan. No, he's good. You'll like him. Okay, so uh, we got a lot coming up. Big day today. And, um... Drew Strickland. Drew Strickland. We'll see what we can do. And uh, thanks for following us on Facebook. And uh, more Evil Giant Robots. Yeah! Not hang loose.